real reason why Kaya FM fired Anathai Gai, size weed Lomo involved. Seasoned radio host and idols SA judge Anathai Gai was fired from her job at Kaya FM on Wednesday, allegedly following a heated argument with fellow host size weed Lomo a few weeks ago. The Gauteng based radio station announced that it had terminated the Midday Joy host's contract with immediate effect because certain incidents had occurred, which resulted in the breakdown of the trust relationship between the two parties. Sources at the station said Guy I had laid a formal complaint with the station's HR department, accusing Glomo of being unprofessional and verbally abusing her after he was late for his show. Size We was supposed to come in for his show and release her. Radio hosting rules state that the previous host can't leave until the next one arrives, so she was angry that he was late. She was busy preparing for her birthday celebrations, so he was inconveniencing her by arriving late, said an insider. When Glomo finally arrived at the studio, Guy I apparently lost her temper with him. She went on about this toxic patriarchal thing in radio which has to end. She kept saying that she was going to make an example of him and was swearing at him in ISI Kosa, said the source. She then laid a formal complaint about him with the station's HR department. HR took it seriously. They thought size we had threatened her because she said she was afraid for her life and that she couldn't work in such an environment. She said that, if size we remained on the air, she'd go to social media and approach the EFF for support. The HR people said they'd allow size we to finish his show and then talk to him. They also said they'd call her to tell her about a way forward, said the source. After Glomo finished his show, he was informed of the charge laid against him by Gaia. Another source said that, during the altercation in the studio, the microphones surrounding the two were recording their entire conversation. Size we immediately asked HR to access the audio and listen to it because that would serve as evidence of what had been said. They said they'd investigate, but Size we insisted that the matter be handled immediately because he didn't want the matter being leaked to the media or to risk being suspended while they investigated. After listening to the audio, HR called Guy I and offered her an opportunity to retract her complaint, but she refused and insisted that she wanted Glomo taken off the air. The station's managing director, Sibong Ilm Yelai, was also asked to intervene but did not wish to get involved as she had a personal history with Guy I from Metro FM. The source said that the following morning, Guy I and Glomo were summoned to a meeting, where Glomo laid his own charge against Guy I for spreading false rumors about him. According to the source, Glomo accused Guy I of telling a DJ from a different station that she had laid a charge against him and he was going to be suspended. Size We came with voice notes and screen grabs from people. He said that Anathai had never once complained about his being unprofessional until she had had that outburst the previous day. However, it seemed she had been discussing his alleged unprofessionalism with someone who didn't work at Kaya FM, the source said. The Kaya Drive show host alleged that he learned from the set outside DJ that he was going to be suspended while he was live on air. By the time of going to print, Guy I had not responded to requests for comment. Glomo, however, confirmed that the incident had taken place, adding. She accused me of verbal abuse, which is a very serious allegation and obviously a lie. If I had to describe my relationship with Anathai prior to this, I'd say it was very good. I would say we were actually friends. In fact, the reason I'm at Kaya is that Anathai called me to tell me about the position. After everything that transpired, I did open my own case against her, but I have no idea whether that was the reason she herself was fired," he said. Kaya FM spokesperson Ian Berdenkamp said the station stood by its earlier statement. A permanent replacement for Guy I has yet to be announced.